So Fonsi Cricut YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to use the print then cut feature in Cricut Design Space and um, I would like to show you how to do a quick card and also just some tips on using the print then cut feature. Okay so the first thing you want to do is open up a new project here. Um, this is my canvas and go to upload and you can use whichever image you'd like to use for this project. I am going to use this Our Home is Built on Memories, Love, Family, and Traditions design, which is located in the So Fancy December 2019 uh, bundle. I can't believe it's the last month of the decade, but here we are, December 2019. Anyways, um... I am very excited to show you how to use this design to make a quick print and cut project using your printer. And you can use your Cricut Maker or Cricut Explore. I will be using the Maker for this project. Okay, so our design here is 23 and a half inches tall. So that's why it's not fitting on my entire screen. But the one, the number one thing with print and cut is that the maximum size of your image that you can print is 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches. So six and three quarters by nine and a quarter. So that means that we need to adjust this because this is not going to fit on our um, paper that we need to run through the printer. Okay, so print and cut also needs to be printed on a piece of regular US letter cardstock or whatever material you're using depending on the machine. Um, I'm going to just use regular cardstock that's white and I will be using my uh, printer and I would like to uh, first change the size of this design so that it's not outside of the parameters of what you need. So remember it's six and three quarters by nine and a quarter. So the height we're going to change to nine and a quarter. Um, if this little lock emblem is closed. That means that when you hit enter on this design, it will automatically keep the proportions and change the width to the proper width. Okay, so that makes this about four inches by nine and a quarter. Okay, my card is not going to be that big. So first, what I would like to do is um, show you that because this portion is what I would like to have printed, and I am going to leave the colors as is. Um, I need to flatten all of this in order to print it. Okay, so right now everything is showing as a cut. Um, if you scroll down this entire group, um, here you can arrow um, down so you can see all the pieces. Uh, you could go in and change these colors, like if you wanted to change the heart to this color um, and maybe this little heart here. Uh, we could change that one as well to another color. Um, you can kind of decide on what you would like to change on the SVG uh, or you can just keep it as is. So I'm going to, I want to keep it the way that it was made because I really like this teal and black together and it's going to be on a white background. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is select that group. So make sure all of it is selected over here and click on flatten in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, so that has flattened my design into one printable image. Okay, so it changed the cut to print. Now, I am, I could at this point just go ahead and print this right out. Um, if you click on make it, it will actually take the image and put it onto the eight and a half by 11 inch paper automatically. And it will add this black thick line around your design, which is the registration mark. Now Cricut Maker is able to read uh, the registration mark on more materials than the Explore. Um, the Maker, you can pretty much use any eight and a half by 11 sheet that can be printed on an inkjet printer um, as your material. I'm using white um, cardstock, so that absolutely works just fine. If you were going to use like maybe some kind of metallic or more reflective material, I would just make sure, or colors, um, I would just make sure that you check and 
you know, do maybe a little test run beside, before you decide to do an entire um, design like this. Okay, so if you were going to just cut this out, it would actually um, just add the registration, which is around there. And then when you go to click continue, it will put it on a mat and you click on send to printer. Okay, so then you want to choose your printer. Um, here I'd like to use my Canon Pro 100. So it automatically adds what's called a bleed. So it makes the design thicker so that the actual machine can cut around all of these little intricate pieces um, and make it so that when it's cut out, there is not a white border around it. Okay, if you take the bleed off, you can see that it, it changes the design. Okay, um, it really just depends on you really have to play with this a little bit, but we are not going to print this one because I'm going to show you how to attach it to an actual card. So let's go back, click cancel. Are you sure you want to cancel the cut? Yes, I am. Thanks for asking. Um, just give it a second here to boot and it will return us back to this screen where I can click cancel. Okay, so now I'm back to my canvas. All right, so the first thing I'd like to do is let's move this over here out of the way and go to shapes and click on a square. Um, and this square is not the correct size for my card. I would actually like my card to be, um, you wanna click on this lock right here. I would like the card to be five inches tall by seven inches high. Um, I'm sorry, backwards, seven inches wide by five inches high. Okay, so um, I am not going to um, cut this out in a dark gray, and it's really hard to see it that way. So let's just change this to a light gray so we can see what we're working with. Okay, so this is the size of my actual card. Uh, this would be with it lying open. So I wanna go to shapes and choose a score line. Um, the score line, I'm going to change that height to five inches so it matches my card. I'm going to choose the score line and the card background together and click on align center so everything is um, lined up correctly. Now, this is the back panel of my card. This is the front panel. You wanna take your design. Let's arrange by um, sending it to the front so it's in the front. And then you're just going to take this little arrow and kind of just condense it down here and then place it where you'd like it on the front of the card. Okay, so um, once you have it where you'd like it to be, you are going to select all of the layers. So the printed part, the score line, and the background of the card, and you're going to click Attach. Okay, when you attach it, it now can be moved around wherever you'd like. You can resize it, everything stays in proportion. Um, you can, you know, move it around on your canvas. You can make duplicates so that smaller duplicates, so they would fit on the printing mat as well. But I'm just going to print this one to show you. Okay, so here you want to click on make it. And you will see that it has um, where this dark line is around the edges. This is the registration that the Cricut machine will read. So you have to make sure that your background paper, the eight and a half by 11 sheet that is printed out of your printer, once you go to load it on the mat for the cut portion, you need to make sure it lines up here um, pretty well in the corner, okay? So that your machine can read the registration properly. Okay, once it reads that registration and it's on the cutting mat, it will cut around the edge of this card and it will score where you have the score line. It will not cut out this design because this will all be printed on the entire sheet before you stick it onto the mat. Okay, so now you click continue and click send to printer. And here I'm choosing my printer and I do not want to bleed. I know it's very hard to see, but it's kind of like filled in all this little detail and we don't we don't need that on there. Okay, so here it's going to look just like this. It will print out on your paper exactly what you see here. As you can see, that gray part is gone because it's just going, the gray part is just a cut line around the edge. Okay, so then when you go to print,
it will send it to the printer. And then at that point, um, you can take the mat and stick it onto, or you can take the printed paper, the cardstock that has the printed design, and place it onto the Cricut mat, load it into your machine, and then it will the um, design space will prompt you to cut. Okay, let's cancel this out. Yes, let's cancel the cut. I've already sent it to the printer several times today to make this project. Um, so I don't need to uh, redo it one more time, but I hope this did help you learn how to just quickly use print then cut. Um, we will be adding more tutorials for this feature in the future, the near future. I'd like to show you how to um, upload other files besides F SVG designs and also how to do some stickers and some other fun projects. So I hope you'll stop back and check out our channel again. And thank you for joining us today. And be sure to check the links at the bottom of the tutorial here on YouTube so that you can uh, purchase this beautiful Our Home is Built on design as well as many, many others in the December bundle. I'm sure you will love it. There are so many projects that you can create. Um, and if you have any questions or need any help, please leave us a message at the bottom. All right, thanks. Have a great day.